Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys solar systems and yeah we're on episode 120 of this series now so yeah really insane number another sort of milestone I guess we're into the 120s now I mean that is insane stuff and yeah I'm just going to keep doing this series you guys enjoy it so much so who knows how high we'll get this series eventually but yeah today we have got um, our first system um, is from the user Neo Gaming um, on the comments here. They they've got a workshop simulation we're going to be checking out. I've already subscribed to it um, on the um, game here, so we can just hop straight into it. So it should be on workshop share. No, that's no, not on shared. It should be on subscribed here. Right, and then yeah, they go the Lunix system. Okay, let's see what they have prepared for us here. Right. Okay, so Lunix is a star 845 light years away from our star, or our star, our star. Right, um, but yeah, let's move all the way down here. All right, so the star itself, Lunix. Right, so here we go. Uh, looking at its stats, it looks to be sort of Alpha Centauri A sort of level, so a little more powerful than the sun um, in pretty much every single stat here. Um, so yeah, there we go. That is the star. Now moving on to the first planet here, we got Tola over here. So here we go. It's going with a um, sort of cyan and magenta sort of color theme right here. So yeah, there we go. It's also got one um, moon called Gallo here as well. So yeah, there we go. Looking very nice indeed there. So that is our first object. Right, now moving on to the next one. We've got ooh, a gas giant here. It's going with a uh, magenta and pink um, color theme here. A bit purple in there as well. It's also got a ring sort of tilted on its side like Uranus almost. But yeah, not, not exactly the same as Uranus. That's definitely um, different to what um, Uranus would normally have. So yeah, pretty um, crazy tilt there. And obviously, it's got a um, one big sort of ring system around it as well. So, yeah, there we go. So, that's Doralo over there. All right, now moving on to uh, Kado over here. It's this one. Um, what is it? So it looks very large in size. It looks to be a rocky well. Let's go ahead and have a look at this. Is this an atmosphere we're looking at? Uh, let's go to surface and then remove. Oh, there, okay, there is an atmosphere. Where's the option to hide atmosphere? Appearance. Band colors interface. Where is the... Am I just being really silly right now, or is the option not there? There should be a option to hide the atmosphere. It should be on here, shouldn't it? Oh, we can't see underneath it then. That kind of sucks. Or well, is there anything underneath it? I mean, it. Oh no, is it? It's a gas giant. Oh, okay. Oh, it must be. It's a one-banded gas giant. Okay, I see now. So that's why I was going all over the place. No, that's a band. No, not a rocky planet. That's just me being silly. Um, so yeah, there is Kado there. So that's a one-banded gas giant. So I was going to say, it did look quite large for a rocky planet. But yeah, one-banded gas giant. So yeah, there we go there. Right, next up we have got um, Pole over here. Or however you say that. So there we go. So this is a red and black um, colour theme, as we can see right here. Um, it's sort of similar size to Earth. A little more in mass um, right there, and then it's got white death over here, which is a moon. Now, that definitely is a white atmosphere there. We can see the glow. So, yeah, there we go. And, yeah, there, there's the option to hide it. So, if we look underneath the atmosphere, it is all white underneath. So, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, there is it there. And let's uh, see what it's made of. So, it's all just silicate and iron. Okay, I thought maybe it was frozen water or something. But, yeah, there it is. It's at 15 degrees. I guess we can check the stats for it. So, yeah, no uh, Earth similarity, a bit of that, and then no life likelihood there. Right, so, yeah, there we go. Right, zooming out again. Okay, looks like we're on the last of the objects now. So this is um, Lintis out here, and it is a asteroid. So yeah, there we go. So that's just chilling out here, and it's actually got like a little moon asteroid of its own as well. So yeah, they are very, very close to each other. But yeah, there we go. So they're the last two objects um, in the system. By the looks, of it. it's got a nice yellow, golden looking trail there. So if we just line up all the objects in the simulation, my favorite would definitely be this one. I have to say, I do like the blending of the colours on there. So let's just get a quick look at those. So there's only three colours on it, but I think it looks quite good. So yeah, there we go. And then I'll probably put this one as my second, um, or best of the Rockies. Um, so yeah, those two are my top ones. So the, the, both of the pinky uh, magenta coloured ones. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system. So this is the Lunix system. So again, a massive thank you to the user Neo Gaming who sent this system in on the workshop. And yeah, just thanks to um, letting him know in the comments to um, check it out as well. As yeah, this one was um, sent in the comments. But yeah, just um, a side note as well, guys. If you want to send in your own simulations, make sure to either join my Discord server. Link in the description, which is the preferred option because I can I can find them a lot easier and it's a lot more organised. But you can also let me know the name of it in the comments like a uh, neo gaming did here and then um i can just find it on the workshop simple as that but yeah please note if you do post it in the comments it may get lost it may go into my spam box and all that so yeah the discord is still the preferred option but yeah there we go so there is all of that and now um we've got that system done it was quite a short one so let's um let's throw in a second system for today so let's just quickly um look on discord here okay so our next system will be from Pluto Neon, and this is called the Sailor Moon's Order of the Planets. Okay. Oh, I think... Okay, I think I know what this is. I may have done a video on something like this a long time, but let's go ahead and open this. So, 
Right. There we go. So the Sailor Moon's Order of the Planet. Okay, so here we go. Right, okay, and that's a lot of reading. Wow, that is a lot of reading. I'm liking the trail colors, but they also left a notice on Discord, so they said, I don't think anyone's had this crazy idea of a simulation yet to Neptunian Guy. If you plan on exploring my new simulation, please read the full description that comes with it. Yeah, okay, we've got a lot of reading, right. Um, so that you understand what I was going for, the design, and keeping out for certain things to look in the simulation. Also, Earth was unintentionally completely flooded because all the ice caps melted away. That's probably just because the game's been a bit glitchy. Here's a U-Box file. Hope you can take the time to make a review on in, in a video. Okay, right, awesome. So, yeah, we have got probably the biggest amount of reading we have had in a long time, okay? So, okay, let's check this out. I really like all the colours. Very, very colourful. It's even more colourful than my, um, my Amplified um solar system well, we can see a nemesis object out there okay right so let's um let's do the big read now okay so sailor moon's um planet guardians introduce themselves usually in the same pattern over and over again contrary to the old traditional pre-2000s order of the planets with pluto inners mvem and outers jsunp inner guardians usually make an entrance in the order moon mmjv okay so a lot of complicated stuff here um and outer guardians make an entrance in the order unps okay we're definitely keeping this um menu open for the time being um this gave me the um idea to rearrange all of the planets in order that their sailor guardians always or almost always made their long ass <laughs> okay i tried my best to um make the planets resemble the planets it from the sailor moon in appearance more specifically the planet styles from sailor moon crystal these physical changes include um can, where we oh god i'm losing place here there's so much reading right these physical changes include changes in color composition and making them glow through heat but there were some stupid limitations that prevented me from making certain edits with some planetoids such as not let me re recolor asteroids even when i increase their mass um to the or, or dwarf planets to the true planets and i what you need what you would do there is you make it as large as a, a, a planet you change you save the simulation then you reopen the simulation then you should be able to edit the colors that way i think that's probably um probably what you'd need to do there if you want to make a little um so say like a little asteroid object so say if i had like a 50 kilometer asteroid object if i if i wanted to color it i'd make it larger save the simulation reopen the simulation and you should be able to edit the colors and then make it small again and it should keep the colors um so yeah maybe that'll help out or hope that helps um but yeah not letting reorder the colors okay um, a poor design for a developer needs to fix very soon. And yeah, I mean, it does kind of suck that you have to sort of make it big then small and save and reopen. There's a lot of lot of glitches and stuff where we've had to save and reopen things um, like that. So yeah, that kind of sucks. And there are 10 planets, including Pluto. It's out of the Kuiper Belt, so it's a planet now. And the new planet, zoom far out to see it. Okay, so I'm guessing that was Nemesis, or look for it in the search bar. There are also four large asteroids, but I could only colour one of them. And all other large asteroids and dwarf planets were removed since they had no Sailor Guardians. Okay. Earth also had another companion in addition to the moon. Zoom in to see it. So I'm guessing that would be... Yep, okay. So we've got the moon and we've got... Oh, okay. So we've got um, another one. Ch Chibi moon. Okay, so we've got that over there. Um, right. Also has another companion in addition to the moon. Zoom in to see it. Um, the new order of the planets are inner planets. So Mer oh, no. Earth, Mercury, the planet of water, Mars, the planet of fire. Jupiter, the planet of thunder. Jupiter is an inner planet in Sailor Moon for some weird reason. Um, and Venus, the planet of love and beauty. Okay. Um, then there were the outer planets, Uranus, the planet of wind, Neptune, the planet of the seas, heck yeah, uh, Pluto, the planet of the underworld, space-time, and Saturn, the planet of silence and ruin, okay, Saturn is the, oh, no, where are we, oh god, scrolling that was not a good idea, Saturn is the uh, final Sailor Garden to make her debut and deliver a roll call speech, so she's the furthest out planet in the solar system, if you're counting the planets within the Kuiper Belt's radius and eventually the secret outer outer planet or evil, okay, zoom into all the planets um, to see their new designs, okay, um, and Earth might as well be dead since it's close to the sun. And don't forget to check out its new moons. Okay, right. So that is all of the reading. Right, so here we go. So Sailor Moon's Order of Planets. I don't know what, what is Sailor Moon. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, close all that. Right, so a lot of reading, a lot of um, depth in here. But yeah, as I said, Earth is very, very broken. That's just because of the game. They may, Maybe they did it in the older version. Because it was uploaded quite a while ago, so it would make sense that the Earth would be one of those glitched ones from that version. So yeah, there we go. And then we got the regular moon over here. Well, I say regular, but no, that's that's um, been changed slightly. That has definitely been changed. Um, so, yeah, a little more of a bluish um, colour going on. I mean, if we go on the appearance there, you can see shades of blue and then the shade of white in there. So a little more blued out moon than normal. Right, and then this um, ch chibi moon. Ch chibi moon over here. So this is a pink version of the moon right here. So Earth with two moons. So, yeah, there we go. I wonder if that actually legit works without any problems. I mean, it looks... Um, 
Yes, they are different size, okay. But yeah, I wonder, if, I wonder if that would actually work, or the moons would throw each other out or something like that. Actually, one thing I want to check as well, is Earth in its normal orbit? So, no, it's not. Orbital period is only 81 days. So, yeah, we are nowhere near. So this is sort of in the Mercury. Oh, okay, so this is where Mercury would normally be. Then Mercury looks to be where Venus normally is. So Mercury's a gas giant in here, okay. So yeah, there we are, looking very, very nice indeed. So we've got an all blued out Mercury um, with some nice different shades in there. That's looking very nice with a nice blue trail. Then we've got Mars out here. Okay, this one is very, very crazy looking already. So we can see, let's just actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reopen that so I can re get the reading. So let's go ahead all the way down. Okay, so Mars, Mars, I think it was like, well, I think they said it was the, fire. was it fire or something? Uh, where are we? So they are to, okay, so Mars, uh, Mars, the planet of fire, yes. Then Mercury was the planet of water, which is why it's blue. So Earth didn't have any, it was not the planet of anything. Uh, Mercury was water. Mars is the planet of fire. So yeah, there we go. So there we are, looking very, very hot, as we can see. So I'm guessing that's going to be, yeah, very, very hot in temperature, as we can see. So 2,000 degrees there. Then heading out, we have got Jupiter. So what does Jupiter look like? So Jupiter is the, blah, 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 so much, uh, so... Venus was the planet of love. So where, where's that? Did I skip? Oh, no, Venus is the next one out. Okay, so yeah, Jupiter and Venus are swapped round. Okay. So where are we? So Venus, uh, Jupiter is the planet of thunder. Okay. So here we go. So this is Jupiter. So it looks, okay, you can still see the regular Jupiter colors, but we can sort of see some green bands in there as well. Okay, so a little more spiced up Jupiter there. So looking very nice. So that's um, the thunder. Planet of Thunder right now, heading out to Venus. So Venus was um, Love and Beauty. So same as the goddess of Love and Beauty there with Venus. And actually, if we just look at that, I've never seen anyone make Venus. And that actually, they're going for see the way the clouds would look in reality, I'm guessing. that's If you look at that, that's not bad. That's quite a good um, gas giant version of Venus there. I mean, you could you could probably go for... That would probably look quite good in a real realistic simulation, I have to say. I mean... That definitely reminds me of some of the pictures I've seen of Venus with those colours. So, yeah, very nice job with that. Um, doing it on a gas giant as well. Very, very cool. So, yeah, there we go. So, that is Venus. All right, so let's put labels and orbits back on. All right, so Venus. All right, now we're heading to Vesta out here. Okay, so Vesta wasn't mentioned. So, I'm guessing this is one of the planetoids over here. So, this is very small. So, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, I reckon... So, if we just try and open this ourselves. So, yeah, yeah, you can't change the colour of it, but I reckon you, if we made this slightly bigger, so if we did about, I don't know, 5,000 as an example, then we save the simulation. Oh, no, I just want to see if this works, see if we can do it on camera. So let's just call it, we'll just call the simulation 1, or what, just a bunch of numbers. Right, then if we reopen it before we continue, so where are we? So open, go all the way down to here. Okay, so if we reopen the simulation now, and remember, this has been enlarged, so we should be able to customise this now. So there you go. So you can customize it. So you could put it any color you want. And then you simply would just have to make it small again. And it would keep the color. So yeah, there we go. That That's how you fix that, if anyone's wondering. That's how you get, like, asteroid objects to be colored. And then the options would still work while you're in the simulation. But as soon as you save it, then it would um, probably revert. And you can't customize until you make it large again. But yeah, there you go. So that's how you customize those guys. But yeah, there is Vesta. Right. I really like the trail color Vesta has as well, actually. So there we go. Then we've got Juno over here. So this is another um, asteroid one. So yeah, there we go. So there it is there. So Juno. Then actually, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just um, open it on the menu here. So we've got Palace, so it's not customised. And then Ceres, I'm guessing. Oh, look at Ceres. No, I've never seen a customised Ceres before in any any videos. But look at that. Oh, Ceres looks very weird. Very, very pixely. In. I'm guessing this isn't actually the Ceres object. I'm guessing this looks like one of the moons of one of the planets that's been enlarged. Um, by the looks of it, but yeah, very, very pinky um, object right there. Really interesting. So there's Ceres, uh, Juno, Pallas, we've done all those. Okay, so now we're moving on to Uranus as the next object out. And as we can see, it looks kind of similar to default Uranus with a lot more bands added. Pretty, pretty um, funky looking Uranus right here, actually. If we go to um, directional light, there we go, such as full looks. You can see it's definitely built off the regular Uranus in the game, but it's got a whole lot more bands on it. And actually, it does look pretty cool, I have to say, of the mixture of bands. Let's see, there we go. So lot more than the regular Uranus there. Got obviously the blue rings as well, looking very, very nice. So yeah, there we go, but let's just close that. So yeah, Uranus on here was the planet of wind. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Right, and then Neptune, as we know, is the ocean, the sea. So let's go and let's see what Neptune looks like in here. Okay, so here it is. So it kind of, it's got more of sort of Uranus looking colors. It's quite similar to the um, regular Uranus, but yeah, there it is. 
So we can see a mix of like different blues in there, but it is still fairly similar to the way Uranus looks. We can see it's got a nice set of rings around it as well. So yeah, there we go. I like the trail colour Neptune has. Right, now we're moving on to Pluto, the uh, underworld over here. So as we can see, it's a Pluto texture, and it has been greyed out by the looks of it. So yeah, there we go. So a very uh, grey and whited out version of Pluto there. So there we go. Pluto is, is a very, very good template to make random dwarf planets, because every time you recolor it, it just looks completely different. So yeah, really, really nice there. So there is Pluto. Then moving on to Saturn over here. Oh, look at Saturn. Okay. Wow. Very, very funky looking Saturn there. It's also got the rings as well. Let's go back on realistic. So it's quite dark out here, as we can see, since we are how far away from the sun now. So yeah, but okay. So we are sort of at the Neptune distance now. So yeah, there we go. So Saturn on here was the uh, final Sega Garden to make her debut. Um, so she's the first out planet. Okay. So Saturn was the planet of silence and ruin. Okay. So yeah, there we go. So that is Saturn. I do like the rings of that, and with the light, dark lighting, it does look pretty awesome. So there we go. So that's Neptune's orbit. But now if we head all the way out here, we've got this secret nemesis object, which we saw at the start. Okay, so Kuiper Vortex. Finally, the secret outer. Um, yeah, there we go. And this isn't the god. Oh, no, the planet of evil. Okay, so nemesis. All right, let's see. Well, it's cool to have a nemesis um, in one of these. All right. So here it is. So this is Nemesis, right? All the way out here. So it's unrealistic. So it is receiving a bit of light from the sun. So how far away is Nemesis? So, okay, so we're sort of in the Sedna sort of distances then, okay. So, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, there we go. So, it's, a, it's sort of a Sedna sort of reddish. Yeah, so there we go. But, yeah, really, really cool looking object indeed there. But there is Nemesis, a very, very far away from the, the sun there. We can see it is quite large. I guess it's sort of following that old Planet X theory as being like a giant rocky world. So, yeah, there we go. But there we are. That's all of the objects done. And, yeah, I have to say, I really, I really like the, um, I really like this. I think this is really cool, just like a different specked out version of the solar system but yeah there we go so there we are but yeah i'll have to look in and see what sailor's moon is because yeah it's interesting I'll, I'll have to look into that but yeah there we go so there is all of the planets so it's a regular solar system planets but they have all been changed in very different ways as we can see i guess we could say uranus and neptune are probably the closest to their original sort of specifications we also have nemesis in here as well so very very large um rocky world then we got the um, regular planets, or the inner planets. So we obviously Earth's just flooded up, sun changed. But yeah, the Venus, the, the gas giant looking Venus to get its clouds looking good. I think that looks really cool. Re I really like the way that looks. We've got obviously got the Mercury as well. So yeah, there we go there. Mars is very, very hot. And then we got the different um, moons and stuff. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, really, really cool systems. But uh, yeah, there we are. That is everything. So again, this was made by the user Pluto Neon from Discord. So a massive thank you to them for sending this in. And also, you guys, if you want to send in your own simulations and just follow the instructions I said earlier um, in the video about Discord or let me know in the comments and all of that. But yeah, that does it for today's video, guys. So let me know what you thought of these um, systems down below um, in the comments. And yeah, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers. As yeah, we're only a few hundred away now. So let's see if we can try and get that by this month. That would be awesome. And also leave a like on this video. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys it really helps the channel out and it's much much appreciated so yeah with that all out the way though guys make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye